All right, good evening. Good evening. How are you? So I got him full of gas, ready to go. But we got Snippy Shark here, and uh, we're going to give him a start. I haven't had a chance to give him a start since I got him home. So uh, hopefully everything will go well. Ah, there we go. What's going on? My glasses here. Ugh. All right. Which way that little uh, thing goes to uh, start it, right? Okay, so that snippy shark I bought him last year. Uh, get the chainsaw out of the back of the truck here before I forget about him. I got a little mission I gotta go do with him. Okay, so that's. Oh, we put those on here. Okay, so the ma remember the last time I was uh, running it? Oh. Nearly lost my scrunch. That would be bad. That would be almost downright evil. Ugh. Hang on. Go with the 80. Your 80 to get the best of you. Okay, so remember the last time I was running it, it was like really, really clogged. I forgot to grab that little piece there. Yeah, I'll go get the little piece. That's what I'll do. Uh, but when I was running it, I'm gonna have to cut the video until I get to the basement and get all the stuff. So again, don't let your ADD get the best you because you're really gonna want to know this if you own one of these things. Whipper snipper runs good. Yeah. Yeah, with that little piece out there. With that little piece out of it there. I think three pulls there went way it went. This is what we're going to talk about. Hey, you. I don't like to talk to myself when I'm in front of my dad because he thinks I'm nuts. <laughs> he sees the camera though. It's when they don't see the camera, that's when they laugh at you. Uh, okay, so if you have a still FS38, and an MS-170 is what the guy told me, but these are notorious for the exhaust clogging on them. Now, I bought this brand new last year. I know it's hard to tell because, but this thing works like about six hours a day, three, four days a week all, all summer. 220, I think it was 220 when I got it. Now they're 230 bucks, whatever. But this little part here, let's see if we can get it somewhere where, get some really good definition on it that there okay that thing is like solid packed right now and i'm not sure exactly how it goes in there because i didn't see it myself but i have an idea of how it works and this thing gets full 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 packed like that it's hard as a rock and it's like it looks like almost like a um, oh it's metal mesh okay i can see yeah it's like a metal mesh it's black because that's the that's the set so Oh, okay, I thought the thing was actually black, but that's actually the that's how packed it is. That that's that's your exhaust. So it's a, it's like a little uh, filter slash flash arrester, I guess, is the idea behind it. I gotta put this in my car because I gotta show it to my buddy because he he has the same whipper snipper and it's doing the same thing. And if you have an FS38, almost guarantee this will happen to you. Um, so you get it, and it, it's the newer ones. The older ones don't have this. It's a, it's a emissions thing, right? So what happens is somewhere inside that exhaust, that thing is placed just before the exhaust 
comes out, right? And that'll catch all your impurities and stuff like that. But if you don't rev the machine high enough, like I never hold this thing full open for very long. I usually like three quarters, seven eighths of the way for a bit, uh, whatever. Uh, but I don't over rev it, right? And um, a lot of the trim work I do is around like delicate flowers and stuff. So a lot of times this thing's just going, brrr, brrr, you know, like, like whatever. So that means it's not burning as clean as it can. Plus if you don't burn high enough test gas, that'll probably do it. But what ends up happening is if you don't rev it high enough, it doesn't clear out the exhaust and it all clicks in that little bag thing. And then, then what happens is it, uh, you, you, you go to run it and it either won't start or it, you can't run, like, you can't spool it up. It's just like, burr, burr, like a really low, just a really low, uh, revving, you know what I mean? It, like you could pull it full, full throttle, but it, it won't, uh, it won't, it won't spool up. And that's what this was doing. Now I had another one that uh, that done it to me, and that's what it was on it. Uh, my buddy's the same problem, and mine is the same problem. So the guy took it out of there completely, and what that's going to do is it'll never ne never jam up again. Uh, you can put a new one in there if you want. It, you know what I mean? Like you can put a new one in there, uh, but just be mindful that it's going to clog at some point, and when it clogs, then that's why you, you know like it either have hard time starting or it'll have a uh it just you won't be able to spool it up so that's a common known problem with them uh and the, the guy at the still shop said yeah he goes uh uh he goes uh, that's what i suspected it was uh and he was like uh yeah most likely that's what it's going to be and uh so i paid him because this thing's still under warranty i paid him uh i think 21 bucks <laughs> whatever it was uh, for the labor and whatever uh so other than that um like i should get a new air filter for this this year too you know to start off the year uh proper but uh other than that uh, that's pretty much the only kind of defect well it's not really a defect thing it's it's just they should tell you about it when you buy it that you have to change it out every now and then once it clogs it's just will it clog in one month will it clog in five years depends on how much you use it blah 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 so you don't know that until you use it you stop, I'm, good for time. I'm good for time but if you have an f uh, still fs38 uh and it's bogging out on you and it's just like bleh, bleh, and it'll happen like that too like it'll be running full and all of a sudden bleh, 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 and it's got like no power and it's, it almost sounds like a starving for gas so you think you suck something in the carb which you could have but uh it, it, it almost sounds as if something is blocking the carb and you just can't bleh, you know and it's hard to start and all that but that's most likely what it is is that little that little uh filter screen and uh, that kind of thing uh will i put another one in uh maybe later on you know but uh, for now i'll just run it the way it is but uh yeah so it's nice to have snippy shark back full full health again ready to go he'll probably be used in the next two weeks i'm sure uh i could probably even use him down there a little bit clear out some of the briars a bit and uh yeah so that that's basically um uh, that's basically what it is. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. So uh, if you're having a whippersnipper, it's probably not broken. It's probably just clogged. It's like it has a stuffed nose. Yeah, or it can't fart or it can't burp or or something. It, whatever the exhaust would uh, pertain to. You, you get the You use your imagination. But anyway, hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, it helped me. Uh, the only reason why I didn't do it myself is because this thing's still under warranty. And if you touch one you know, tamper with one screw on there and it's like, oh, the warranty's void, right? So if there was something wrong with it, like majorly, like say the piston ring was done or something like that, um, you know, it wouldn't be covered if I, if I look at it myself. So if it's under warranty, take it in. Once it's not under warranty, then you're, then you're on your own anyway. Uh, but uh, I'm glad that's all it was. Uh, other than that, this thing has been freaking awesome uh i have two of them i have an older one in this one i'm almost thinking of buying a third one uh but i'm probably going to get the one with the uh, straight shot the one model up uh sa same head but uh the one with the that you can uh, swap out to a light brush cutter on it uh, uh okay do you want to 
run over time here. Uh, so that'll be my next one. I, I highly recommend them, but that is a, a known problem with them uh, for the last past couple of years. And I think he said the MS-170 chainsaw was also had the same problem because it has the same... Uh, same little filter thing in there. Uh, so anyway, you get an idea and uh, hopefully that helps. So there you go. Have yourselves a great day. Eh?